For pleasure, delight, peace, and felicity, live in method and temperance. Hello and welcome to another episode of Heroes in History. Today we have a very special phone interview with Important Thinker nominee, Margaret Cavendish. Hello Liz, so glad to be here. As we all know, you're an extremely prolific writer. Can you tell us how you got your start in writing? Well, as a young girl, I'd always preferred writing to spinning, so I guess I've always had a love for it. That's great. Now what about your husband, William? 30-year age difference? It's kind of scandalous, isn't it? My husband has always encouraged my writing. He is my greatest mentor. I actually once said that, though my lord lost his estate and been banished, yet neither despise poverty nor pinching necessity can make him break the bonds of friendship or weaken his loyal duty. Sounds like you kids are in love. Now we've reached a part of the show where we take questions off Twitter using the hashtag MadMadgesArmy. Let's get started. All right. First off, at Kevin Dang asked what your favorite writing was. Most definitely, The Blazing World and The Sociable Letters. Good choices. Next, at Madge's Queen asked how you get the nickname of Mad Madge. I had a tendency to wear revealing clothes and behave improperly. Well, technically, being a woman writer was improper back then. I just wasn't going to let my gender get in the way of my success. That's inspiring. All right, now the last question. At Cavendish for Prez, ask why you've never had any children. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My words are my babies. All right, before I let you get back to your busy schedule of being a writer, poet, playwright, philosopher, sci- and scientist, the word is being given out in just a few days. Why should you win it? A lot of my work was modern for my time period. And my work on naturalism is still being used today. I provided many solutions to crucial problems during my day. And also, feminism is a huge thing right now, which I definitely supported. I published under my own name, even though it meant some wouldn't respect my opinion. I have always believed gender should be equal, and I feel I made very important starts back before equality was even considered. Thank you, Margaret. Our time is up, but another huge thank you to the incredible Margaret Cavendish. You definitely deserve the award, and your fans are there to back you up all the way. Remember to vote for Margaret Cavendish for the Important Thinker Award. See you next time on Heroes in History.